Guys, today we are back looking for more RV replacements. If you didn't see the last video, we went and looked at three different options, but you guys left so many different comments of options that we haven't even looked at yet, so we thought, let's go look at a few more options. Because there's a couple more vehicle styles out there that are actually really cool that we have to look at before we make any type of decision. So we're at our first location. Let's go out and show you where we're at. They have a bunch of interesting vehicles. It's not just normal cars. Yeah, they have something that's gonna blow your guys' minds. I cannot believe I'm looking at this right now. Oh, that just sounds good. Guys, ready? Yeah. Check it out, guys. We are in front of an ambulance. Legit. It, it says ambulance on the other side. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. What? See? The ambulance. Yeah. No way, guys. I have never actually been in an ambulance before. I was literally about to say that. Obviously, they have all these shock bites, smoke bombs. Uh oh. What? Who was in here before me? Because here's the cool thing about an ambulance. Obviously, there's all this like shelving in here, but we don't have to keep it in here. Right. We can take all this out and convert it into whatever we want in here. I'm pretty sure this is a fact. I was researching ambulances. Oh, it's got a cool handrail so you can like, not fall down. Anyway, it was saying that a lot of people convert these into like camper vans because the walls on the ambulance are like house grade insulation. The walls on that exterior. Oh, yeah. I can actually stand up fully. Andrew can't. And this is the cool feature. This door slides. Hold on. Oh, it does? Wow. It's pretty spacious right here. Yeah, look, we got an area for a clipboard. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, look, there's a door and it slides. Now I'm gonna have to figure this out. How do you, is the bottom stuck? Well, either way, guys, this is a door that opens. So if we were to get it, we could open it up. We've got all these cool side doors. Whoa. Whoa. So like, if we had a pop-up shop, we could put a bunch of stuff in here. No way. Andrew's still in the ambulance right now. I'm going back into the office because the owner said that we can test drive it. Yes. I'm so excited this is right so now. so cool. <laughs> believe we're driving an ambulance right now. That's so weird. I never <laughs> thought you could actually do this. I didn't think like civilians could drive emergency vehicles, but apparently we can. Let's see what kind of power this beast has. Oh, you're gonna floor it? Oh, that diesel. <laughs> what does that do? Is that the light controller? I actually don't know, but I think the lights still work on this. Obviously you can't turn them on when driving or you could get in big trouble. Yeah. But they still work, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Do you need assistance? Yes. Get in the back. Okay. Okay. Are there lights back here? I see these lights. How do you turn them on? Is there no light switch? Ah! Stand up here and hang on. Oh, I found a switch, but it doesn't do anything. Ah! Dude, it feels fast back here. Oh, I gotta get to the front. Or oh, the back, I guess. Aha! Whoa! That was the ride back there, boss. Pretty cool. But just look at this, guys. Are you kidding me? And like the last episode, guys, keep in mind all the vehicles we look at throughout the episode and let us know in the comments which one you think is gonna be the best RV replacement. If we were to get this, if we could change the lights to different colors. And guys, think, color and style of the ambulance is cool in itself, but if we were to get this, we would wrap it a custom color and everything. Yeah, we should keep the like same theme, like ambulance theme, but like our own custom ambulance wrap. Like what we did with the RV. So you guys just saw the ambulance, but they also have a different emergency vehicle. Can you guess what it is before we show you? Do, do the honors. A fire truck! How old is this, dude? It even has a custom name, the Marietta. This is even bigger though, but here's the engine. 
Not sure how well this one works, but looks like it used to have a seat right here. So literally the firefighters would sit right here really? while driving, yeah. They got a phone, a Motorola, are you kidding? All these buttons though. This thing is a beast. Oh my gosh. Keep back 500 feet. Oh. Imagine if we had a fire truck and we could get the hose to work. Yeah. Except I think you have to hook it up to a fire hydrant, which we don't have access to. I think you can, they have like a little bit of water on the Oh, floors. like a tank? Yeah. How's the yeah. weather up there? I mean, it does look old, but for it being old, it looks in pretty decent shape. We have to get the fire truck. That way, when we release new merch, we have to put out the fire because it's so hot. Oh, I like that. Oh. Whoa. This interior though, it's dusty. There's the horn button, the siren button. I feel like I'm in like a roller coaster ride. Yikes. Yeah guys, what, what is cooler? This fire truck or an ambulance? Old fire truck, new ambulance. Oh, I don't know. Also, do you guys like the new Marv hair? Who else wants Marv hair? Cause you're, you're allowed to if you want, if you want. Here's another interesting vehicle, an old mail truck. You can see on the side, you got the United States Postal Service. The package delivered to your house usually comes in this, if it's a big one. Wow! Wow. You can put all the merch in here and just hand deliver packages. <laughs> the merch mobile? <laughs> yep. But look at this roof. Like, what is this? Alright, I'm sitting in the mail truck. What the? the? I can watch TV? What kind of TV is this? And what is this? Avoid backing up whenever possible. <laughs> There's no seats for me if I want to ride with you. Oh. I just have to oops. stand up in the back and fly yeah. all over the place? Yeah. No! So our personal favorite, honestly, is this ambulance compared to the fire truck and the mail truck. You guys were to guess how much the ambulance is, what would be your guess? It might surprise you. So the price on this ambulance is below $8,000. Now compare it to the school bus we looked at in the other episode. What, was that like 15,000? Yeah, it was like 15 for the small one, but then if we wanted to get that small white one, that was like 30 grand. Well, ice cream truck was about similar price, about five to $7,000 depending on which one we got. But this one, perfectly working, no problems with it. $7,000, that's pretty tough to beat guys, what do you think? Or we can start up our own transportation company. What? Wait, how do you get on this thing? <laughs> this is the only door? Yeah. Bush maybe or... What? Man, I really wanted to take a ride on the city bus. <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Whoa! Dude. That's the problem with like bigger oh. vehicles. This bigger is vehicles are like here. cooler to drive because there's so much more room, but it's also scarier and more difficult. But this is like cool like seat sitting up here. Yeah, so if you're driving, I can come way back here and this is the lounge. Make a lounge, gaming lounge? Yeah, so you can even make this a whole section here with like bunk beds. And... Oh, even if we wanted to, we could use that. We don't have to ask mom or dad, we can just use it. <laughs> we are on to the next location with another vehicle. It'll remind you of our old RV in a way. You'll see. Walking up to the next stop, guys. And this place has a lot of different options. Oh yeah, guys. We are at an RV dealership. I know you're thinking, you guys just had an RV. This isn't your RV dealership though, right? No, this is like, we're looking at something new, something top of the line, hopefully. Big, luxurious, not broken. They got some big ones right, right here that have these secret rooms in them. Now, how do I get inside? This, guys, is the luxurious Sun Voyager. Good grief, let's go inside. Must see. You're not, yeah. I gotta know what's in there. Let us in, Harry. Wow, guys, this is like a home in here. What Dude, in the world? This is cool. This is like so different than our RV. Fridge, working fridge, what's over here? Bathroom and shower and a full queen bed. Are you kidding me right now? And it's a walkthrough. Is that necessary? Yes. They've got three that we may be interested in. They got one over there. That's the biggest, most expensive one. And then we got this one here. And then there's a smaller one over there, which may also be inter interesting to look at. Keep in so. mind, mods, more J Stew videos, what is gonna be the best? 
your ideas. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Andrew? I'm coming in. Flat screen, we got a fireplace, a full size fridge. You gotta be kidding me right now. King size bed here. Oh yes. <laughs> She's a bit much. <laughs> walking into a cheaper drivable RV. Yeah, we didn't tell you the price of the other one. Should we tell them? Yeah. So that one was a hundred grand. Oh. You. No. Just coming up into this one, I think I actually like this style better. This one's like literally half the price. This one's fifty grand. Back here is like another like living room. Yeah. TV. I think maybe it's cheaper because it's older, but it's like wood. Style. It's so weird being in like an RV that actually looks nice and has all these rooms and a kitchen in it that works. Like I am just baffled. We're going up to the last one. This one's the smallest. White leather, eh? Ah, not bad. It's got curtains. Oh, this is comfy. Look at the walls, dude. It's carpet. It doesn't go too far back, just to a bed right there. Yeah, pretty small. But this one's bad. also 50 grand. This is the same price as the other one. If you were buying one, which one would you get? Oh, yes. I don't like the gigantic ones, because I'd be way too scared to drive. This one's kind of like your normal size, like even like the size of the school bus. So. And it's got a cool, like, I don't know who you talk to on this thing. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> now that I think about it, guys, an RV like this, like a bigger RV, would be fun to get if you were with like a bunch of YouTube friends and you were all making videos, like going on a road trip. I think the Ireland boys are doing that right now, actually. But, guys, I don't know how long you've been watching our videos, but we basically had that idea many years ago when we lived in Denver. We were shooting like a mini, like, trailer documentary series show thing, but it didn't go anywhere. But it, we were thinking about doing it. It's still a super cool idea. Maybe someday we get a bunch of YouTubers and we just tour around for a little while in a cool RV, make vids. Oh yeah. Guys, we checked out one more RV. This one is another one you have to tow, but my goodness, this is legendary. This Look is way too nice, guys. It's got kidding? lights like all over the place. Custom lights. It smells like a new home. Plus, you get a free vacation if you buy this. It's cheaper than the other ones. It's ten thousand dollars on sale. Nice TV. Come this way. This Down the like hall. An epic bed. A gigantor shower. This is pretty epic. This feels like a vacation. All right, we have finished looking at every type of vehicle we can think of. So now comes the very important question: What do we do, guys? We have the ambulance. We have the ice cream truck. The fire truck. And I forgot the other one and the school bus. So guys, we have a poll up here. Vote for which one is your favorite and also leave a comment down below which one is your favorite because we're gonna have to make a decision and we need your guys' help because we're making these videos for you guys. But those are our top four favorites. So other than that guys, we hope you enjoyed watching today's video. But guys, thank you for always supporting our channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to laugh daily, it's very important Da. Da. Don't forget to laugh daily. It's very important for your health. And we'll see you on the next upload. Goodbye.